Alright, I'm always open to try out new and weird things. So when I found out that five minutes from my hostel in Siem Reap, there was a restaurant uh, serving kind of like fine dining insect cuisine, like tapas restaurant, I felt like I just had to try it out. So I'm here at Bugs Cafe today to try out some of the best insect dishes Siem Reap has to offer. You got a giant tarantula on the wall here. All the staff are wearing shirts that says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says, <laughs> it says, I hate insects, but the H is crossed out, so it's like, I ate insects. Let's see what they got. Tap it. Wow, that looks like scorpions. Yep, papaya salad with scorpions. Uh, they have all sorts of little things that you can order. Jeez, tarantula donuts. <laughs> what does that say? Whole marinade tarantula coated in tempura and deep fried. That ah, doesn't sound too bad. Ooh, discovery platters. Oh, so here they have platters that are good for like trying out a little bit of everything. Maybe I'll, I think I'll get this one actually. So first here you have to fill up with ant inside. Ants. Yes, we put two kinds of ant: some red ant and flying ant. Flying ant. With the spicy sauce. Okay. One of it is the red tuna donut. Then we put the whole spider in tempura and we deep fry. Okay. You can go with the chili mayo or mayonnaise. Mm. Two of this is the silk form and taro. We make the silk form and the taro. You can go silk form? Yes. Yeah. Oh. You can go with the basil You see, okay. the yellow one is silk form and the black one is the cricket. Mm. And you have some grasshopper in there. Oh, okay. And the stuffing in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's crunchy and bitter. The tail. We have the taste, the flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay, but you can you can eat the whole thing. Of course. <laughs> okay. And the final one is the jam with the bar. Oh, it's so you big. You chew it, let you chew it down, and then you split the rest with the juice. You no need to swallow. Oh, so you you don't eat this. You just chew it. Yes, yeah, just chew it. Wow. What happens if you eat it? <laughs> you can eat, but you can eat, but uh, okay. be careful uh, because the shell is like the plastic. Just put ah. it inside, so you can eat everything. Okay, thank you. No no poison, all right, good, good to know. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna try is the spring rolls. Apparently it's stuffed with ants. So here goes nothing. It's pretty good, I mean, if you didn't tell me this had ants, it's actually a pretty good spring roll. This thing is a silkworm croquette with taro. Now, I don't like taro. A taro actually. Put it in this Oh my Oh my god. Mm. Not bad. I hate taro, but this one is deep fried, it's not too bad. I don't like taro when it's in like mushy texture. <laughs> There's something weird in here that I, uh, that I just ate, and I'm pretty sure that's the silk one. Like, to be fair, the two things I ate so far, you know, it's not overtly obvious it has insects in it. It's not a deep fried tarantula. Wait, pick this up. It's uh, pretty obvious what you're eating. Very crunchy, obviously, because it's deep fried. Now, I, I had tarantula a week ago. The abdomen was really mushy, like a big abdomen at the back. It was like, it's not good. But when you deep fry it, and it becomes, the whole thing just becomes really crunchy. I don't, I don't love it. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to love tarantula, but it's miles better than the first one. There's three different kinds of insects. First up is a cricket. Now, the cricket is probably the easiest one to eat, so I'm going to, I'm going to eat that first. Oh. Like, it kind of stinks a little, not in a bad way. I know that sounds weird. If you get over the initial taste, it's not bad. Better than the tarantula. I'm gonna try this uh, silkworm and cricket stir fry with a uh, green pepper. So it's supposed to be a little bit chilly. And I get a bit of the silkworm. So this is a silkworm. I don't know if you got, there you go. Like this. Oh, wow. It's very juicy. Kind of like burst in your mouth. Once it's deep fried, you actually can't taste much of the insect. Like you see here a lot of peppers, a lot of tomato, a lot of like um, chili. You can taste a lot of that into in the skin, in within the silk. The flavor of the stir fry is like infused into the insect. So you really don't taste the insect. It's like 
it just adds like a crunchy texture. The scorpion, I can eat the whole thing. All right, including the claws. Yeah. So this is the scorpion. It is full scorpion -y glory. Look at this claws. Look at that tail. So big. So chewy. <coughs> Alright. I took a long time to chew. Taste, first of all, it was really big. And the texture was very chewy. Inside, it's a little mushy, just like tarantula, so I don't really like that kind of texture. Like mushy, like good. I think if it had. Uh, more of a meaty, juicy texture like silkworms or the crickets, a bit doable. Yeah, it's an experience. I probably won't do it again. Oh. Last thing on the skewer is this gigantic uh, water bug. It does not look appetizing. It looks, it looks like. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like a giant cockroach. Look at that. Is that a sting? Yeah. So this thing. Yeah. Chew it. Chew it, the whole thing. Yeah. Like a chewing gum and then split yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. What if I swallow it? It's not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> How long do I chew it for? Yeah, chew it until there's nothing to swallow. Oh, you can swallow. I mean, I mean, long, ten times. I've been chewing it for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's not going down. I keep chewing, chewing, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I'm ready. Ready to one. A bit of skin left, but I just can't eat. I applaud them for making most of the insect dishes taste actually quite nice. The spring rolls, the croquettes, the, um, the stir fry it was very good actually. And I think that's the way to go, you know, if people are going to start eating more insects in the future. And, you know, it has to be like mixed into things that we're already used to. You can't just be like one gigantic bug. <laughs> I think that will most likely stay as a, or for me, it will stay as a novelty thing. But you know, I, I would gladly eat this ant-filled spring roll again. You know, it's, all, it's pretty good, yeah. You know, in fact, I'm gonna have another bite now. You can't tell there's insects in there. You really can't. I mean, I, I can see it. It's the most unique meal I've ever had. So if you are someone who is you know, quite open to trying new experiences, you're quite an adventurous eater, uh, definitely come try it out. I'm Davey. Davey, nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you too. I just have one question, well a few questions, but my main one is, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, well, it's a long story, but basically we eat too much meat on this planet. It's yeah. a problem. Traditional <laughs> meat demands uh, water, space, food, a lot. And it creates, uh, it emits a lot of greenhouse gas. Mm -hmm. And insects are a, a very good answer to this problem. So we thought, okay, let's treat the insects like any other food and cook it normally and nicely. Uh, you have to go through the cultural and psychological thing. Mm. But once, once you manage to do that, if you taste, there's nothing uh, slimy, you won't have liquid in your mouth when you bite it, there's no strange taste. It's not a survival show. When it's well cooked, it's like any other food, it's good. Mm. It was a very, very unique experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool, thank you, thank I'm you. glad you enjoyed it. Thank, cool. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Z. Thank you.